This is our returning champion, David Budge, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Stand by to see David play for an entertainment center valued at $5,050. Today, on America's biggest bargain sale, we're offering an Audi. Valued at $22,267 for $530. Cash and prizes worth over $100,000 for $750. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of our show, Jim Perry. Hello there. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Delighted to have you with us. And we're delighted to have you with us for Sale of the Century. Let's welcome back our champion now. This is David Budge. Hi, David. Hi, Jim. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, let's see. Now, Jay was talking about what you're going for. You have $80 in your bank. You decided to put the money in the bank, play on, so you must win and get another $90. Of course, the, pri the value of the prize with the amount of money that you have. So another $90 in the win. You can have that entertainment center. The next thing up the line, beautiful Norman Rockwell artwork. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go? Sure am. All right, good luck. Here to introduce the challenger, Summer Bartholomew. Mm -hmm. Hello, pretty summer. Hi. Did I hear a whistle out there? Yeah. You like whistles? I love whistles. Love whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you bring us? <laughs> she knows her faults from Victorville, California. Give a hearty hello to Gail Eisenhoff. Hi there, Gail. And he always wants to be in top form. Originally from Buffalo, New York, a warm welcome to Clark Dykeman. Hello there, Clark. Well, I'll whistle every day when you oh, come in. Please. All right, thank you, Summer. <laughs> Clark, you always want to be in top form. What does that mean? Well, I'm what you call a physical fitness nut, Jim. I, uh, I'm one of those people who goes out and buys every piece of physical equipment they can find. Oh. I, haven't, I haven't gotten in very good shape, but I can put together anything. That, you Nuts and bolts and screwdrivers. You can your own gym. Right. Right. <laughs> nice to have you here. Thank Gail, you. you know your faults? Yes, I've been studying, and I hope to be a geologist one day, and earthquakes really shake me up. Oh, <laughs> false earthquake. A uh. punster over here. Nice to have you here as well, Gail. Good luck to all three of you. We'll start you off with $20. Player with the most money at the end of the show is the champion. Gets to do some great shopping. Good luck. Let's start with this. What TV family lives on a Texas ranch called South Fork? David. Uh, Ewing's. Ewing, is, that's the name of the family on Dallas. You're right. $5 for the correct answer. David goes to 25 in what city can you visit Back Bay and Beacon Hill? David? Boston. Boston it is. Two in a row with the champion. He goes to 30. What is a couple doing if they're doing the Virginia Reel, David? They're dancing. Dancing, square dancing, country dancing. You're right. <laughs> Another five. Three in a row with the champion. If someone refuses to enjoy himself, you might call him a stickin' gale. In the mud. Stick in the mud is what it is. Yeah, that's her first five on the plus side. He's at 25. What thick cream of the tangy flavor tastes great with chives on a baked potato? Gail? Sour cream. Oh, it does, too. You were right. Sour cream it is. Gail's at 30. But it's time now for an instant bargain, and the player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. David, the champion, has a $5 lead. It's up to you, David. You can buy this. David, it's time to shop by catalog with your JT's General Store gift certificate. You may select a grandfather clock with Westminster chimes and swinging pendulum in the in-home shopping catalog furnished by JT's General Store. And it's normally priced at $300. But today on Sale of the Century, it's for only $5. Oh, David, very nice. Very nice. Do you like it? I love it, Jim. That's super. I'll, I'll, listen, I'll throw in, I'll throw in a lollipop. Oh, I'll, don't I'll, tease I'll give, me. Yeah, I'll give each of you. I'll give each of you a lollipop. Richard Dawson isn't using them anymore, so I'll give them to you. Here, yeah, you each have a lollipop, and now you can think about that. Do you like that at all? Now, You've got a place for it. Oh yeah? Well, yeah. for five bucks you can have it. It would normally cost three hundred dollars, and of course, uh, obviously, it's the catalog. You take anything, but this is beautiful. For yeah. just five dollars, you'd be in a tie with Gail, and I'll give you a hundred dollars in cash to go with it, plus the lollipops I gave you for five bucks. Going once, going twice. He likes that. Enjoy that. Enjoy the cash. Enjoy the lollipop, and we knock five dollars off your score. You're in a tie with Gail. Back with this. In the smash hit movie, what did the initials E.T. stand for, David? Extraterrestrial. That's what it stands for. He got that $5 right back. In the 60s, what president popularized the phrase silent majority? David? Johnson? No. <coughs> Nixon. Nixon with the silent majority. And the champion loses five for the incorrect answer. And again, a tie with Gale. Clifford Irving went to jail for writing the man's supposed autobiography. Whose? Gail? Howard Hughes? Howard Hughes is right. Yes, good, good to be a little ancient history there. I had to think about it for a moment. But Gail is in the lead now at 35. 
It is time for the Fame Game. We've got a nice, interesting little twist for you coming up with the Fame Game. So watch and play along now as we look for a famous person. You're playing for control of that board. A lot of in information about a person. I'm a comedian, composer, and musician. Born in New York City in 1921. I learned to play piano by ear and worked in radio as a disc jockey and comedy interviewer. I wrote such songs as South Rampart Street Parade, and this could be the start of something big. I often appear with my wife, Jane Meadows. David. Steve Allen. Steve Allen is right. And David's got control of that board. Now, David, for a little change, we are going to show you that $10 money card. Where is it, Summer? It's behind the number two. And there it is. And you see those lights flashing. Those lights are hooked into your buzzer over there now, David. And you can stop those lights flashing when you hit your buzzer. Land on the $10 money card. We add it to your score. If you land on something else, we'll give you the prize behind the number. You're, a, you're locked in. Good luck and go. Oh, way away from the $10, but you've got number nine, and behind it is what? Vertical blinds. Luma Drake vertical blinds. Choose from over 100 new fabric colors and patterns. A modern window covering designed for easy care that rotates and traverses to control light and heat. Furnished by Luma Drake. That is $500 worth of blinds, yours to keep. No matter how you finish in the game, that $10 money card stays up there. We'll add 15 a little later when the lights flashing. Should be interesting. We'll be back. Before we get back to business, the entertainment center that David is going for costs $175, and he has $80 in his bank, so you are $95 away from that, right? Back with this, Gail at 35, David at 30, and Clark at 20, and this question for five. Women make them look bigger by applying mascara. Gail? Eyelashes. Yes, indeed. And Gail goes to 40 with a $10. You <laughs> said that like, how dumb could you be? Don't ask that question. No, like I've had it put on me all day. Oh, okay. <laughs> you mean you, you put makeup on to come here today? No, I'm naturally. Right. Okay. In the familiar song, Frank Sinatra sang, I want to wake up in the city that doesn't sleep. Gail. New York, New York. No wonder you put the makeup on. You were going to sing. Gail goes to 45. What does a French girl mean when she says, c'est la vie? David. Uh, that's so it goes. Or, or, or so that's goes. life, or why bother no. putting the mascara on? Anyone acceptable? <laughs> and you got another five. David goes to 35. In what year will we celebrate America's tricentennial, David? 2076. You got it, and, it, and he's within five of Gail again. But Gail, you have the lead. Gail, you've got a $5 lead, and you can buy this. Gail go beach blanket bonkers with this great ceramic sculpture, a one-of-a-kind fun piece of art entitled Gloria, depicting a Miami Beach matron enjoying her day in the sun from Geary's Beverly Hills. And it's normally priced at $500, but today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $10. You want this, Gail? Does it have mascara on? <laughs> that, that and everything else I could think of. Is, is it, if, are, do you like this, Gail? It's interesting. I think we got a sucker. Oh, I'll, buy it. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you have it for five bucks, then. You'd be in a tie with David, oh, and you'd have this beauty, right? Here, yeah. going once, <laughs> going twice, yeah. and no sale. <laughs> I knew Gail looked like an intelligent woman. <laughs> That's just, boy, I don't know who bought that sucker, but back to business. This breed of huge dog is popularly pictured carrying a keg of brandy. Clark. St. Bernard. St. Bernard it is in Clark from the plus side of 25. Yes. Clark, and I just want to let yes. you know, you've also won that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Turkey, gutter, and spare are three terms used in Gale. Bowling. Bowling is right, and Gale hits the $50 mark. Yeah. What president's name was given to the tallest mountain in North America? David McKinley. McKinley, that's right, Mount McKinley, and David goes to 45. What part of your body is in a cast if you broke your humerus? David. Your arm. Your arm is right, and a tie with David and Gale again. <laughs> This baseball superstar became the first player to get more career hits than Ty Cobb, David. Pete Rose. Pete Rose it is, and the champion goes back into the lead. Yes. <laughs> Talking about Pete Rose in reply to an accusation that he only lived for baseball and that the only book he ever read was the Pete Rose story, Pete said, that's not true. I also read the Lou Gehrig story, and I did a report on it in the sixth grade. 
and the seventh grade, and the eighth grade, <laughs> and I finally got an A on it in the ninth grade. Good sense of humor. <laughs> Buzzer, now streaming live at buzzerplay.com. Candy to 55, Gale at 50, Clark at 25. Long way to go. And we're back again with the fame game. And as I mentioned, there'll be a $15 money card up there as well. And we're looking for a famous thing this time. I am a game that possibly developed from lawn bowling, popular in England during the Middle Ages. According to some accounts, English bowlers became discouraged by bad weather. So they moved the equipment inside. But the smaller courts were less challenging. To make the game more difficult, players began propelling the balls around with sticks. David. Croquet? No. Incorrect. Out of the rest of the question, you're playing for control <laughs> of the board, not for dollars, so you stay at 55. But we'll clear the board, continue for Gale and for Clark. Then someone had an inspiration. Why not raise the court and place it on a tabletop? Gale. Pool? Pool is right. Yes, it started originally, this believe, from lawn bowling. Very fascinating. Well, Gail, first of all, Summer will show you the $15 money card. Let's find the number five. So there you know what you're shooting for. There's the 10, there's the 15. The lights are flashing. They're hooked into your buzzer now. Go when you'd like. Come on, 15. Ooh, right next to it, but number four, and this is what you'll win. Cookware, beautiful La Cuisine cookware. Porcelain enamel on steel with solid brass handles and knobs. Furnished by Toll Silver Company. Oh, very nice. And that, of course, is yours to keep no matter how you finish in the game. Well, no one could find that 10 or 15 or hit it, so we'll add the 25 later, <laughs> and there'll be three big money cards up there with the third and final crack of the fame game. Back with this, David, of course, you're back in. The Nobel Prize winning Irish American dramatist who wrote the tragedy Desire Under the Elms was Eugene. <laughs> David? O'Neill. O'Neill is right, and David with the $10 lead. In the days of chivalry, when a knight wanted to challenge someone to a duel, he threw down his gauntlet. David! <laughs> just staring at me, right, David? I was just going to say very simply, what is a gauntlet? Oh. It is a glove. It is a glove. And the champion with a quick buzzer loses five. In the popular family TV show, what kind of creature was General Ben? David! Bear. Bear it is. Yes, indeed. A black bear, to be exact. David with a $10 <laughs> lead. David, $10 lead over Gale and a beautiful prize. David, go ahead and play dirty with this exciting dirt bike. An off-road motorcycle with a spirited 99cc four-stroke engine and five-speed transmission. It's lightweight and sporty from Honda of Santa Monica. And it's normally priced at $1,248. But today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $15. Well, David... Isn't that nice? Yeah, nice? A lot of areas back in the Twin Cities you could ride right around. I right? would think you could have a lot of fun with that. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Ga I'll give you a shot at it. You've got a $10 lead over Gale, not $15. I will give you this motorcycle for 10 bucks. You'd be in a tie with Gale. Going once, going twice, and no sale. Not too good. They're both too not good. driving off into the sunset. We will be right back with a champion with a $10 lead. within $35 of that beautiful entertainment center, but he must win, and he's been pushed all day by Gale. He's at 60, Gale at 50, Clark at 25, and we're back with this. George Washington was our first president. Who was the first vice, David? John Adams. He was the first vice president, you're right, in the $15 lead of the champion. Before it gained independence, Algeria was a colony of what European... Clark? France. France is right, Clark to $30. Yes. On the whole, I'd rather be in Philadelphia is a line, David. W.C. Fields. That's who it's attributed to, W.C. Fields is right. David is 70. Yeah. Well, all the money cards are going to be up on the board now with the final crack of the fame game and a famous person. I was born on an island in the North Atlantic about the year 980 A.D. My life story is recorded in long tales called sagas. My father established the first settlement on Greenland. When he died, I became its leader, Gail. Leif Erikson? Yes, indeed, on a touchy, nicely solved. There's the $25 money card, Senator. Behind the number seven. All right, you've got a lot to shoot for right now. We have locked it into your buzzer with three money cards up there. Good luck, Gail, and go when you want. Ooh, you just missed the 25. What does she win? Shoes for walking in the woods or anywhere. 
Handcrafted shoes made with prime American leather linings and uppers. Furnished by Maine Woods. That is $500 worth of shoes, Gail. Yours to keep, no matter how you finish in the game. Nobody was cheering for Gail's shoes more than David, because she didn't <laughs> find those money cards. We finish up the game now with the speed round. May I have 60 seconds on the clock, please? It is David at 70, Gail at 50, Clark at 30. You got a lot of questions. Good luck as we start the speed round now. What is described by the, by the words cumulus, cirrus, and stratus? Gail. Clouds. Right. In what eastern state would you find the Erie Canal? David. Pennsylvania. Wrong. Name the television partner of police detective Dave Star. Starsky. David Hutch. Right. What is the capital city of Cuba? Gail. Havana. Right. To a Mexican, what kind of vegetables are frijoles? Gail. Potatoes. Wrong. What kind of animals are mandrels and marmosets? Dick. Gail. Uh, marsupials? Uh, no. On what continent could you cruise on the Congo River? Clark. Africa. Right. What group of professionals are traditionally called women in white? David. Nurses. Right. In 1969, which Beatle married Linda Eastman? David. Paul McCartney. Right. According to the famous quote, what hath charms to soothe the savage? David. Music. Right. What food crop is grown in a patty? David. Potatoes. Wrong. In the story, Moby Dick, what was the name of the one-legged captain? Gail. Ahab. Right. In mythology, how many labors were performed by Hercules? David. Twelve. Right. In baseball, time is up. David has won it. Congratulations. But he didn't get enough money for the entertainment center, but he's won it. That's the important thing, first of all. And what is what food is grown in a, in a patty? You must like potato patties, but the rice is grown in a patty. Mandrels and marmosets are monkeys. Frijoles are beans. That's the one that might have gotten Gail yeah, a little off track there. And the Erie Canal is found in New York, and David knows it, but it goes so quick with that speed round. Got to say goodbye to Clark and Gail. And Clark, unfortunately, didn't pick up anything along the way, but we thank I you. I got a sucker. You got a sucker. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get a, I didn't get a sucker and sell that terrible prize. Uh, Gail, you've got the cookware and the shoes, and with the cash in front of you, a pretty good stay. Well over seven hundred dollars in cash and prizes. Thank, Thank you. you. Get a great sense of humor. Thank you for joining us. But it is David Budge who again is going to join me and go shopping. Come on, David. Well, congratulations. She pushed you for a while there, but you came out on top. And as I said, you needed uh, $95 more dollars in the win. You didn't quite get to that with 85, but we had the 85 to your previous total. You have $165, and you easily have enough. Just say yes, you can afford to buy this. Make your own kind of music with Kimball's high-tech, high-touch organ. Designed for virtuoso performance in solid organ sound. Styled for ease and comfort for both the serious and the beginning player. Furnished by Kimball. Normally priced at $2,895. Yours on sale of the century for only $85. Just $85 would cost. Didn't I see you in the Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> but you've got $165, so you easily have enough money for that. But I must tell you, if you get another win, you are so close. Ten more dollars. That's all it takes with another win. And this is the entertainment center we were talking about. It's the picture of home entertainment. This 45-inch rear projection color television gives you big screen TV viewing enjoyment in a one-piece cabinet, plus some of today's most advanced features in this convertible video cassette recorder. Normally priced at $5,050. Yours on sale of the century for only $175. Just $175, you've got $165, so you are $10 away with another win for that. If you got all the way up to $530, you could drive away with this. Hit the road in style with the Audi 5000S. Featuring aerodynamic and mechanical design achievements for comfort, performance, and economy in the luxury automobile. Furnished by Allen Porsche Audi Limited. Normally priced at $22,267. Yours on sale of the century for only $530. And $750 will get you every prize on the stage, plus this. The cash jackpot of $63,000. That's a total of $131,472 in cash and prizes that could be yours, David. But right now, you think about it, you can take the organ and leave us or put your money in the bank with the entertainment center the next thing up the line. You think about it, we'll get your decision right after this.
Back with our champion, David Budge. Easily you have enough money to say yes and take that organ and leave us. Or put your money in the bank, another win, and ten more dollars. That's all it would take for the entertainment center. David, what's it going to be? Entertainment center's nice. Both could easily use that in Minnesota. The car, I'm coming back. He's coming back. We'll put $165 in the bank. We'll add another $1,000 to the cash jackpot. $64,000 in two new challenges for David Budge next time on Sale of the Century. Bye for now. Bye -bye. Some of our departing contestants will receive antique refinisher by Minwax. Dissolves away old finishes without stripping. See how easy it is to bring back the beauty of wood with antique refinisher by Minwax. Are manufacturer's suggested retail value and are correct at the time of recording. Save of the Century stars Jim Perry. This is Jay Stewart speaking. Thank you.